What was your reaction to this when you heard this news? It's stunned. I mean, I think that's probably the, the best way to describe it. I mean, these rumors were around during the NFL draft. These rumors were around during the, the day before, the days after. But the Jets have, have vehemently denied these rumors. I mean, everyone in the organization, whether it was on the record or off the record, have called the reports that, of, of dysfunction and, and argument and bickering between Mike McCagnan and Adam Gase kind of utterly ridiculous was, was one of the one quotes I had heard. And, and everyone from McCagnan to Gase to to even the people in the front office had, had done their best to deny these reports and say that they are not true. And then what happens? Well, two weeks after the draft, or however long after we are here after the draft, they fire Mike McCagnin. So you're really looking at a situation now where it's borderline organizational malpractice because you have a, a team that allowed their general manager to pick their new head coach. You have a team that allowed their general manager to spend all of that money in free agency, bringing guys like Le'Veon Bell, C.J. Mosley, Jamison Crowder, and others. And you have a team that let their general manager run their draft from top to bottom. And then you fire that general manager. I mean, it is absolutely incompetence at the highest degree for the current state of the Jets. For a team that is working so hard to rid themselves of that same old Jets mantra and, and stereotype, they've kind of fallen right back into the circus act. Talk about the timing in this. What do you make of the timing? Do you think maybe it could be in response to the draft? There was a lot of hope that the Jets could maybe trade down and get more picks in this past draft. We know that didn't happen. Do you think maybe this could be in response to the draft? No, I, I think that they're, that the rift that the Jets have tried to paint as inaccurate between Mike McCagan and Adam Gase, the one that they've tried so hard to say is not true, both from what Mike has said and what Adam has said. I, I think that there's just a lot more smoke there and so much smoke that there's an obvious fire. Uh, clearly, these two guys, even though Mike McCagney is the one who hired Adam Gase, uh, clearly these two guys just have not gotten along. They haven't seen eye to eye. And I, I would say that that's probably the biggest reason for this rather than any specific move, whether it was hiring or uh, signing this guy or drafting this guy, something like that.